Today we're flying British Airways, or is it Avion Express? We're on an A320 from Gatwick down to Ibiza in Club Europe. We'll check out the lounge, we'll check out the plane, and we'll see what the food's like on board. Hello and welcome to the premium check-in area for British Airways at Gatwick. It's next to the main check-in area in the South Terminal, but the walls give it a more premium and exclusive feel. Let's head on inside. Nothing says premium more than a carpeted floor. Unfortunately, there's only one agent checking in and she's tied up with a problem. So after waiting for 10 minutes, I head back outside to use the regular self-service machines. I need to get a boarding pass here as given this is an Avion Express flight, my boarding pass wouldn't download to my phone. I was however able to check in online before and BA online check-in opens 24 hours before departure. So of course we were there 24 hours and 53 seconds before today's flight, hoping to bag the best seats. And we're in luck, 1A and 1C are available. So let's secure those without it costing us a penny. For reference, BA wanted £45 each to reserve these seats when they were unblocked a few days before. Three priority security next, which took about as long as regular security. And then here's the hack that probably most of you already know. Most people will go down here through duty free and the escalators will be turned left towards the lounges. It's a lot quieter and it will bring you out upstairs where the restaurants are. It saves you going up and down various escalators and whatnot and pretty much probably drops you where you want to be regardless. With our Club Europe ticket, we're entitled to the British Airways lounge here today. Morven is already here waiting for me. There's a few flights left today, including our delayed one to Ibiza, which means the lounge is quiet and I can show you around. There's a variety of different seating and it does feel spacious. The main food and beverage area is very much on brand to these lounges and similar to what you see at Heathrow. There's a really good selection of drinks from wines, spirits, beers and softs, all of which are self-serve. So, I better watch how big my measures are. There's no champagne on offer, but we do have some Prosecco. Alcohol-free gin is available too, and I wonder how much tanker I have paid for this exposure. There's a good choice of food with some pasta, salads, all looked good and were continually being restocked, despite there only being a few flights left and the lounge closing within the next hour. Hot food was a plenty, and there's cakes for dessert, and a strong biscuit selection too. I had a few small plates to tide me over. With the hours delay, we killed some time just watching the planes and taking in the views. Our A320 of Avion Express turned up just as we were scheduled to depart. And with the arrival, it's down into the departure hall and onto the gate. Let's go to Ibiza. So the flight is boarding now, it's 10 to 9. Luckily for us, the lounge closes at 9 o'clock, so we've got 10 minutes to spare. Here's your friendly reminder to subscribe. It's free, and there's loads of flights yet to come, including more British Airways on trips to Japan and Singapore, and many, many more airlines yet to feature on the channel. Boarding was fairly disorganised with one queue when we arrived and in fairness to the gate staff they did then separate the lines up allowing groups one and two to the front but we all ended up in the holding pen anyway. Here's our aircraft, it's a 16 year old A320 and it's an ex Wizz Air aircraft. In January 2023 this year Avion Express acquired it on behalf of British Airways. BA at Gatwick this year don't have enough aircraft to fulfil their schedule. So there's maybe three aircraft of Avion Express operating BA flights. On board we have purple seats and a blue pillow and a BA branded headrest cover. The seats are actually okay. It looks like the aircraft has had its Wizz Air seats ripped out and these ones put in at its place. One thing missing though, there's no table in the middle seats like conventional BA Club Europe. In my seat pocket, I did have a dirty tissue from the previous flights not great, not a great start. Boarding was slow. 
and as we boarded first, we had almost an hour sat down before takeoff. With the light fading, we're into the air just over an hour late. The crew wasted no time in dishing out the champagne and Diet Coke, and we wasted no time in drinking it. Note, I thought the middle seat would stay free, but someone decided they couldn't be that far away from me and ended up sitting there. The crew took dinner orders whilst boarding, the options being lamb shank, prawns and a veggie dish as well. Obviously, it's the lamb shank for us tonight. The meal served on a single tray and accompanied with some veggies and a side salad. There's also a chocolate and orange ganache and a cold bread roll. The table is a little bit wobbly and the tray a little bit slippery on said table. Anyway, ample cutlery was provided, all branded with the BA logo. I really enjoyed this meal, it was a good size and it was full of flavour and the chocolate ganache, well small, was a really nice way to end. The front toilet was exclusively for Club Europe passengers and the crew policed this well into the flight. You can tell from the wide metal basin the age of this aircraft, all was clean though and really that brings me on to the crew who were excellent. I was nervous about flying Gavion Express, I flew them last year with Tui and they left a lot to be desired. I'd also read stories on Flyer Talk of just how bad this Gatwick setup was. On this flight though, the two crew up front in Club Europe were absolutely amazing. My only criticism, they could have topped the drinks up a little bit more frequently, but you know what, it was all fine. There was a BA crew member on board, but they looked after the economy cabin and we only saw them once when they came back up for a chat. Back at my seat now and there's a pillow for us so we can nap if we want to, with the cabin lights dimmed. We're heading to Ibiza, so of course I'm going to stay up and have a gin and tonic, so we can hit the ground running. And in no time at all, we're lined up on runway 24, flying over Playa and Bossa, as Calvin Harris is finishing up his Ushuaia set on a Friday night. His uh, BA City Flyer E190 landing with some daylight, so you can see what the approach looks like. Here's the Hard Rock Hotel too. We paid 15,000 avios and 50 pounds each for this flight, the main reason we used points was because EasyJet wanted over £350 for return flights on this weekend that we travelled, therefore I'd consider this pretty good value. And are you really landing in Ibiza if there isn't a big cheer? Cheers guys, thanks very much. Nice trip back. Sitting in 1A, we're amongst the first off and it's normal for Ibiza to use bus gates. No separate bus for Club Europe though, so it's a little bit of a wait before everyone gets on board and we can make our way across the airport. Okay, that's us through immigration, all the passport control is done, baggage reclaim now, no bags to check so we're out on into Ibiza. Thank you very much for coming along for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. Much better than what I expected, so I'm pretty pleased with that flight. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the flight back on BA City Flyer. Fly back into City Airport. Different experience altogether again. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.